Hello everyone, Indigo Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Trails of Code Still. Alright, so right now we have Lara out. We're, I'm gonna to switch up okay. to Fee actually being out here. So let's check out everyone's HP. Everyone's HP is actually all the way up because we all leveled up at the end of that battle. <laughs> no surprise there. What's, what's sad is that we don't have a thing that just teleports us back to the beginning. Oops, sorry. <laughs> hmm? I knew this is a fucking boss battle area. Something wrong, Elliot? It's, uh... Is it just me, or do you guys hear a sonata off in the distance? Oh? Oh, it's the opera. They, I like how they're calming down the BGM. Now that you mention it, I do hear music, very faintly. I think I can make out a violin and a flute. Quite an elegant piece, too, from the sound of it. It doesn't sound pre-recorded, either. Do you think the sound is filtering down here from the surface? Hmm. This way. Oh, maybe they get to see, like, a... A free concert, perhaps. <laughs> is this a secret passage? The music does seem to be louder here than it was before. But, you know, I feel like I've heard this tune somewhere before. Hmm. We should try and see where it leads. Agreed. Let's see if there's some way to open it. I bet it's the opera house or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. What is up with this weird-ass passageway? I had no idea there was a mechanism like this in the underground passage. I can hear the melody more clearly now, too. Looks like this leads out to the surface. Okay, let's follow the passes and see where we come out. Here goes. <laughs> so interesting. Oh, there's more fights. Okay. Well, I'll let you see this one just to see, you know, how it looks like. I don't know. Nothing different is probably going to happen here. I just want to see, can we link up? Let's see. Um... Still can't link up. Might as well just have her link up with Lara. I mean, I'm sorry, with Machias. That makes more sense. Right. Let's get that petrification shell in there. You won't get away. I missed Machias out okay. here, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have her link up with um. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that Scud Ripper doesn't look like I can get both of them. I'm just gonna attack. Her CP is kind of low, anyways. Right. Okay. It's so weird without having rain out here, man. It's crazy. Right. My turn. Attack him again. Got it. I'll take you up. My turn. I've never had Fee link up with a uh, Elliot before. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. Guys, can we kill him first? Finally? Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Alright. It's not too bad out here. We just don't have motivate anymore. No more motivation. <laughs> no, there's a treasure chest in here. Okay. Tear rub bomb. Guys. We're done with terror bombs. We need the tear roll bombs. Alright, so we're gonna go down here and make a right. I welcome all challengers. Right. Give it up, everyone. Right. All 
Leave it to me. All right, let's keep moving. Super unscathed in that battle, by the way. Huh? Is that a treasure chest? Certainly is. Rachuna. I think we have. I think we've had that one before, but we're gonna check and see what the fuck that is, as we always do. Grants lights protection to raise ATS and ADF. Um, that's if someone really likes using arts, and I don't think I have a character that uses, or at least I don't use any character that like that. But I bet there's a character that has uses arts more effectively than everyone else. But I'm not sure who. Interesting. We got a little rest spot. There's a light. The sound's getting louder too. We must be getting close to the exit now. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can't use this. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna actually save it. All right. Let's see what happens. We're probably in the opera house. Oh shit, what does it say capital? <laughs> I can't even read it. Why was there light then? If, there ha if there's a door that needs to open. Oh shit. Ah. Isn't this Mater Park? If so, we're not far from City Hall. Okay, it's supposed to be live music and I don't even see the band. Mater Park. We're gonna see Princess Al Alphine and, sh and shit like that. <laughs> Who would have guessed that those underground tunnels would spit us out somewhere like this? The layout remained unchanged since it was created during the Dark Ages. You can really feel the city's history. It seems like the network of passages here is even bigger than Bereahard's underground waterway. Oh my god, waterway. Fucking hate that shit. Hey, Elliot. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry. I was listening to the Sonata, then I realized the musicians playing it over there are actually friends of mine. Uh oh, they might recognize. They look like students. Hmm, they seem exceptionally skilled for their age. Oh, they are. I'm really proud to know them. Um, would you mind if I went over and said hi? No sweat, go ahead. Perhaps we should go and greet them too. Why is there a comma, greet them too? Like, I don't think there need to be a comma there. But... Alright. <laughs> That's hilarious coming out of the fucking passage to this shit right here. <laughs> it, it, it's a little weird. Okay, so I see a dot here. Oh, okay. Where are y'all from? I'm pretty sure you'll come to a dead end if you go up there. Oh well, just be sure to stay away from the plants. My grandson and I take care of them every day. Be sure to stay away from the plants. Okay. We'll, we'll step all over them. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to these people over here. Since we can. And all. Oh, they, there's your friends over there. Oh my fucking god. This guy again! I swear. Can you not loiter around here while I'm talking to my girlfriend? Here, take this book and go somewhere else. It's embarrassing having someone watching us. Red Moon Chapter 8. Did we already have this or not? <laughs> oh no. Not sure. Maybe we did have it. I don't know. We have Chapter 8 now. <laughs> Why won't you buy me a new bag? Cheapskate. <laughs> Not to worry, my sweet. I'll be sure to buy it for you. In about five years, when I've saved up enough money to afford it. <laughs> it's a promise, then. Good lord. Anything else you want to give me? The bag you want costs like 50,000 Mira, doesn't it? 
No problem. I'll have the money saved up in only five short years of overtime. Five short years? Oh my god. This looks like a nice spot. Oh. Oh my god. Can it can I fish? Right. right. I wanna fish. This looks like a nice spot. Oh. But I can't have him out. It's so weird. Are you serious? This looks like a nice spot. Wait. Oh, I don't have to have him out. Oh, okay, does it matter? Alright, hold on, guys. I'm, I'm gonna have to fish. <laughs> I'm told, we're totally gonna meet your friends and all that, but... I wanna fish. Oh, I've never seen this shit before. Oh, shit. Hitting the wrong button. Ah! What? Y'all took forever getting over there. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oof. <laughs> Difficult out oh, here. That's a catch. 10p, size 53. New cat, 65 points. So I got 75 points from that. And also money, because I got some Sepith maths. Emma's like, Reen, what the fuck are you doing? We're trying to meet the guys over there. No. No, I got a fish out here. I can see the fish. I have my fishing rod with me. What? Just pulls it out of his ass. <laughs> what even is this? Hmm. What are you talking about? We've caught crayfish before. Also, crayfish, as I always say, tastes really good. This is, I just wish there was more meat involved. You gotta tear the head off, suck out this body. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty gross. <laughs> but it tastes really good. I think that's crawfish though, not crayfish. Um, this is not a new fish at all. I like how you can, I can just pull out the ground bait. I was like, oh my god, Ray, don't take out the ground bait. No, I gotta catch some more. <laughs> pull him away, take him away. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go all the way around the world. Let's talk to these people over here to uh, get all, all up in their biz. Why couldn't we get to the park? Like, is this like a... Because they didn't look like high class or top class or the fuck you call those class people over there. These are like normal people, so... I don't know. It's gotten pretty late. Let's head home, Coco. Hee <laughs> hee. Today was so fun. See you tomorrow, Rosetta. Aw, that's so cute. I bet we can't leave. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's go see my friends. Yeah, it'd be nice to introduce ourselves, too. <laughs> he won't let me leave. Let's talk. Those students over there come here to perform pretty often. They're pretty good too. I wonder what academy they're from. So what do you have? Wow, golden juice. Cures KO. This is Cures KO. And it's way cheaper, by the way, than act regular curing things. I don't need that other ship. I'll catch some of these. Um, let's exchange some sepas since we have them. And grab like two of these, two more of those. Alright, so all we gotta do now is talk to these peeps over here. I wonder if I missed any fishing places. <laughs> you guys just do it with your eyes closed? Wait. Oh, this music's on again. Uh, Elliot. Elliot, you're back. Hey, great to see you again, Morris. Well, what if they were like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you too, Ron. Kalinka. Feels like forever since you've been around. Hee <laughs> hee, you seem like you're doing well. So, who are your friends? We're Elliot's classmates at Thor's Military Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. It seems we're all about the same age, too. So you're Elliot's hometown friends, then. What school's uniform is that? 
Oh, we're students at the Music Academy. Music, huh? Yeah, it's an academy that puts the main focus on music. The school itself is on the outskirts of this district. A lot of famous musicians have graduated from there. Well, that explains why you all play so well. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Our academy always plays for the concert they hold during the summer festival every year. Classes all are over for the day, so we're just adding a little polish before our performance. Oh right, this does seem like the perfect place to practice. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how good you've all gotten though. I mean, you are always great, but you've improved a ton. You must have really been practicing. Y you really think so? Well, we have been practicing. I'm practically hearing the songs in my sleep now. Hehe, <laughs> so true. I guess I'd be pretty disappointed if after all that, we weren't getting at least a little better. I just wish you were here at the Music Academy with us. Um... Oh, don't misunderstand. Thoris has a really good reputation as well. So, are you still practicing the violin? Yeah, in club practice. I ended up joining the Academy's wind orchestra, actually. I'm glad to hear it. I'm, uh, yeah, glad to hear it. You... <clears throat> you were really good. I'd hate to hear you giving it up. Hopefully, we'll get another chance to play together someday. <laughs> yeah, I'd really like that. Whoa, is it that time already? We'd better be... We'd better get back to the Academy. The festival will be here before you know it. And we've got practicing to do. I do admire your dedication to your craft. If you've got, got some free time, it'd be great if you could come and see us perform in concert. That goes for all of you. The more, the merrier. Thanks for look. Thanks. Looking forward to it. See you later, Elliot. All right, later. I don't know if I. I probably did all the voices really badly. <laughs> Elliot. Hey, are you? <laughs> No, it's not that. Anyway, how about we swing by the hotel to give our report, then head back to my house. Sis is probably busy cooking up a storm right about now. Okay, let's be off then. Yeah. Ooh. Love it, that's basically 5,000? 5, 500, that is a lot. <laughs> I think that's 5,000. This guy again. He will just- he's actually a spy, he's just watching us do everything in every city. That night. After enjoying a wonderful meal prepared by Fiona, we were invited into Elliot's room. Tiny little room. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, she's just singing to herself, I guess. Where there's all sorts of instruments. <laughs> wow, this is actually a huge room. Whoa. This is incredible. He could open a shop with all the instruments here. A piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music? There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still, why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Wait, Fee, that's not... I, that, I wanna <laughs> ask that shit too. It. I'm sure this comes as no surprise, but I'd originally planned to attend the Music Academy. Oh. <sighs> what was that, Rain? Oh, like, this is not My surprising. My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, Mom got really ill. 
Eventually, she passed away. That sucks. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the music academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby, but the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I had to give up my dream of attending the music academy. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting, never have been. I get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes, and that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Kinda pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. But then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield, but I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the Music Academy and the Summer Festival concert, so I guess it hasn't after all. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. Oh no, Elliot, don't crawl so into a hole. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> Whoa, okay, Lara has the same breathing as Rain. <laughs> Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So, you don't? Life at the Academy mm -hmm. keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the Wind Orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want without someone deciding for me. Hey, this is great. Elliot. Wow. You've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> oh, I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. You're still- but even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Then you made the right choice. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. Well, I don't know if you'd regret it because you would never know them in the first place, but I mean, I see what you're trying to say here. How can you say that with a straight face? Maybe he's just oblivious. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. Whoa, his hand went straight through his hair. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. Uh, okay, Rain. Everyone says that, saying the same shit to you about this. Saying cheesy- I guess saying cheesy shit. I don't You're know. You're the last person who should be saying that, Rain. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friends said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago too. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too. Is he blushing? Afterwards, Elliot decided to take the opportunity to spend the night at home. So the remaining four of us began, our, began to make our way to the old guild building where we'd be spending the night. Is that rain talking? And because it seemed like the green text seems like it's uh, some uh, like supposed to be in third person, but this seems was well, in third person, but like a narrator. But this seems like uh, it's rain. It's weird, <laughs> telling a story to us. I don't know if it's Rain or not, but it's one of these four. 
pretty sure it's rain, though. <laughs> I can't believe it's almost past nine. We ended up staying at Elliot's longer than I thought. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to break out the coffee after our meal, too. And she even invited us back for breakfast tomorrow. We've hardly been, been here a day, and she's already my favorite person. We'll have to thank her properly at some point. Still, you know, I've lived here all my life. But it's only now, now that I'm running around doing field study tests, that I'm realizing just how big this city is. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. They're just going to slip tomorrow's test into the guild's mailbox, right? Yeah, they should be delivered first thing tomorrow morning. Considering how organized my father is, I don't doubt they'll be delivered on time, though I do worry what we're in for. I have this terrible feeling that he'll put us to tasks far more difficult than we can actually handle or something. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. All the more reason we should finish up our report and hit the sack early, I suppose. Hey, what's wrong with you two? You tired or something? You've been awfully quiet. No. Not really. However, listening to Elliot has finally shown me what I must do. Kiss. Fee, I challenge you to a duel. What? Okay. Tonight, right? Yes, tonight. I fear I won't be able to sleep until this has been resolved. Uh, hold on a minute. Where did this come from? A duel? What are you talking about? Exactly what it sounds like. Fee and I will face each other in a single combat to determine a victor. That's all. Oh, that's all. Are you kidding me? Well, you can't do it in a populated area like this, especially not at night. You'd wake the whole neighborhood. How about that park we were at earlier? Mater Park, I think? That seems- Oh, it's Mater Park. Oh my gosh. That, that seems- That seems an ideal venue. The area around the exit from the underground passage should be nice and quiet. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. But honestly, Rain, you're not just going along with this, are you? Oh, shush it. The capital already might have a heady, heady nightlife, but that's no excuse to cause a commotion. Bah. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to the park then. The trams are still running, right? They run until around 11. Are we seriously doing this? He's so yelly. So we can get to the Mater Park. I don't think we could have done that before. As, yeah, this is just a new fucking area. This wasn't part of our task, that's why. The park scenery has an almost mystical air, air at night. That's nice. <laughs> You're in luck. Not too many people taking a leisurely stroll at this hour. Okay, that may be true, but this is still the capital. You really shouldn't be fighting here. <sighs> How did it come to this? What a socket at Machias. I apologize for burdening you with this, but I'd appreciate you keeping watch. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Anyway, let's move over to that gazebo we came out of earlier. Are you gonna just- oh, you want me to do it. Alright. Ah, oh, what a pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. Ooh, this person. No denying those two have some surprising similarities. Let's talk to this random person. Phew, today sure was busy. There's no better way to unwind than a cold beer in the cool night air. Well, we're gonna completely disturb everything happening here. Alright. Can I go into the crystal? Whatever. Wow, these two people still here. Jesus Christ. What was that? I didn't quite hear you, so say it again. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you, baby. Louder and clearer! I love you, baby! <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. Damn, you really do like making me say that embarrassing stuff. It's gotten pretty cold. We should head home. That is hilarious. But it's so early! Let's stay and talk some more! Alright, let's talk to these two people. Ch Chief, please! 
You've had far too much to drink. Let's just head back already. Good lord. Shut it. You trying to start a fight here, punk? <laughs> Come on, tough guy. Speak up. He's, he's about to run into this damn pole right now. <laughs> it's locked. What a shame. You might want to keep those thoughts to yourself. Fee, I'm begging you. Please don't cause any trouble here. <laughs> Wonder what's in there. Yeah, I think we've talked to everybody. Let me see if I can still fish here. Like, randomly fishing out here. This looks like a nice spot. Wow. I can really fish. I don't see any people in this part of the park. I'm fine with here if you are. Ugh. Alright, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past. Your personal history. Really? That's gonna be a long story. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. No doubt. Really? Yeah, all things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. To add to that, you were once part of a Jaeger Corps. I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I came to believe that because we'd been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <gasps> However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, slowly and carefully. And that was when I finally realized, during all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. Oh, so you're using your heart? Oh my gosh. <sighs> sure, okay. But in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. <laughs> so, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah, I noticed during our fight with that monster earlier. You aren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. You live your life so... Honestly, I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still, what does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. He's curious. I want to know because I like you. What are you... Kiss. I don't know why I keep bringing this up. It's frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. I felt like this several months ago with Reen, and I feel the same way now. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said, this is simply an act of self indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. You really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine. Because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil of battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor bestowed for a hard-won victory. Fine by me. 
you just talk things out? Why do you even need to fight now? <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do, Rain? Fight! All right, I'll officiate your duel. Really? Okay, they're probably turn and be like, we don't need that shit, we're just gonna Neither fight. Neither you need to hold anything back. If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks. Uh, oh shit! Uh, Go! Oh shit, what side am I on? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Target locked! I'm not gonna be naming these fucking moves. Light grenade, <laughs> sweep, sweeping grenade, or the fuck is called. Impressive. Same to you. Then I won't hold back. Allow me to show my strongest skill. Learn from my. Father. CPU versus CPU. Then I'll show you my strongest. Not CPU, but computer versus computer. That's enough. I couldn't even tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge, but as far as I could tell, it was a draw. What do you mean? I'm, I feel like Laura would kill Fee so fast. Like, she doesn't dodge that well. She doesn't have much defense. Like, she's dead. Really? <laughs> <sighs> well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time and don't forget i still wish to duel you as well talking Wait, to reen why me <laughs> honestly actually i lost this one huh jaegers are at our best when we fight at night the darkness gives us an edge but even after i threw out a flash grenade the duel still ended in a draw if we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. Well then. Very well. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway. I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. Shit. Is, is she gonna go into a long ass story right now? I used right to now? be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Uh, this is gonna be a long episode, guys. <laughs> Before that, my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. The man who eventually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. He was the leader of Zephyr, a pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cleaning, the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was... 10, I think. The boss was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. Oh, that's part of, that's her S-Craft name. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year, when our boss died. 
It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps, the Red Constellation. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad terms with our boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. Okay. In the end, they both fell. That doesn't seem realistic, but this is an anime, so let's do it. None of y'all needed to eat yeah. anything. <laughs> the Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. All the members who were left just kind of scattered. I don't know where they went. Then, just like that, I was alone again. Huh. I... I don't know what to say. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yep. Just when I was wondering what I'd do next, Sarah showed up. She said she'd been following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's how we first met. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the principal, and after that, well, you know the rest. Oh my god, Fia is just so much more cooler now that I know her background story. Wow. Like, she really doesn't have a strong foundation like everyone else. Like, everyone else, like, I mean, Rain might have been, like, adopted into a family where he's, like, an orphan, but he at least had a family and grew up and had rules and all these things for most of his young life. So, man, Fee's, Fee's background is totally different from everybody's. She's, th this is a Final Fantasy background shit. <laughs> Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. But I feel like I finally know you. There's still so much more I want to learn, of course, but... At least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? Oh. Let's do it. Are we gonna dance? I don't even know what's happening. N now wait just a minute! <sighs> Should've known. I guess I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Well, it's at your discretion, of course. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak, but we'll give it a try. You gotta be kidding me! We haven't got a chance against them! Oh my god, Zmachius, you're well, pretty good too! It's a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? Let's just think of this as a little bonus for our field study. Give it the best we've got. Uh, fine! But I don't intend to hold back. I love so these spur in a moment shit. Both of you. <laughs> you have my things. Here we go. I'm not going to hold back. Fine, I'll do it. Lauren Fee can now link with one another. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here. I've been playing this for a good minute. And you know, trying to keep my episodes down. So uh, we'll leave. We'll stop on a little cliffhanger here. Hold on. Put it in the fucking menu somewhere. So we're not like... There we go. So, yeah, we learned a lot about Fee. Finally. Like, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Like, hearing her background story, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually liked it. And my fan fiction, like, senses went off. Like, there is so much you can do with her background. Like, Looking at how she she was traveling everywhere and probably outside of whatever country or continent they're on right now She was kind of like a drifter or a wanderer uh, With a Jaeger Corps, which I kind of got I kind of got some inkling that the Jaeger Corps was Probably like thieves or something like this. I don't know, but that's really cool. It's really badass uh, That said I'm I don't actually, I still don't really like using her in battle, but maybe it'll get better. So, <laughs> as always, can wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.